There are four alchemic stages to understand. The nigredo, or blackening, the albedo, or whitening, the citrinitus, or the yellowing, also known as the peacock's tail, and the rubido, or the reddening. When associating with any alchemic text, focus on the use of imagery and how it pertains to colors and the merging or unification of dualities. For example, the black toad, or salamander, or raven, are all symbolic of the nigredo stage. A rabbit, a unicorn, dove, or white queen, are symbolic of the albedo. The citrinitus can be related to both objects that are of yellowish color as well as peacock's feathers, which is also symbolic of the rainbow as well as eyes or perception. The rubedo often uses the symbolic imagery of that of the phoenix or the philosopher's stone, which is the ultimate object that the enlightened alchemist wishes to attain. The nigredo stage symbolizes the darkness, despair, or mud that plagues man's mind. It is symbolic of the horrors we have in our heads that spate us, driving us towards despair and psychological duress and insanity. To escape the blackness, the alchemist uses fire to purge clean this black entity, turning it white in the process, similar to a fine, clean ash. This leads the transfigured object into the next stage, which is the albedo. The albedo is symbolic often of a purified state. The white skeleton, for example, that sits atop the black sun, has been purged clean to the bone from his bloody blackness, removed of the burden of his body. White, however, is linked closely with the third alchemic stage, the citrinitus. The reason for this lies in understanding a concept similar to the Newtonian properties of light. When white light, which is unseen to the naked eye, is refracted, it produces a rainbow. This rainbow contains within it all possible colors. In understanding how all separate colors can come from this one source of whiteness, we can better come to understand the alchemic statement, all is one and one is all. Focusing in on this rainbow then forces us to discuss the next alchemic stage, which is the citrinitus, or peacock's tail. The peacock's tail, symbolic of eyes and the rainbow, is linked to a sense of relative perception. If we think of colors in terms of culture, we can understand that each presents with it a separate form of understanding or way of living. In the peacock's tail, it is common for a person to bounce around between the colors, enjoying all the various things that life has to offer, bouncing between relative contexts, losing ourselves in each color, which is linked to illusion since it does not contain the absolute truth, but only relative outlook on life. We must remember that all of these relative colors are linked in unison as a white light. Thus, when one understands how one is all and all is one, they no longer find it exciting to escape or explore these relative states as much as they previously had. Instead, one sees how, in their relativity, each color is just as valid as any other since they are only partially correct in their sense of perception. In linking all dualities and relative forms of reality, the alchemist attains a sense of unity within himself and without the world. As is stated in the Book of Lampspring, there are two fish in each of our streams. In other words, we are ourselves, but also the very other or opposite by which we can be compared. We are both yin and yang, unified dualities, or, as the alchemist likes to state, as above, so below. This understanding leads us to the final stage, the rubedo. As we previously stated, the alchemist purges that which is black to whiteness by way of fire. Thus, the rubedo is possessing the fire by which we can purge anything. This philosopher's stone is the key to alleviating any psychological ailment that plagues the mind. The phoenix is immortal since, by unifying dualities, it understands that life and death are not separate, but ultimately linked as one, unable to conceptually exist without the other. Thus, when one reaches the Rubedo stage, it brings with it the dissolution and dissolving of identity, brought about by unification, and, thus, a oneness with one's self and the world. This is but a simplistic overview of alchemy, of course, so as to help you, the neophyte, begin upon your journey, circling back like a fool or zero upon the very spot in which you initially started.